this lesson is on IUPAC naming. IUPAC naming, organic molecules that have atoms or groups of atoms other than carbon and hydrogen are said to contain functional groups. The first step in IUPAC naming is to find the longest chain and decide how many carbons are in that chain. If there is one carbon, it would be called a meth, 2 f 3 prop, 4 but, 5 pent, 6 hex, 7 hept, and 8 oct. The next step is to establish whether there's a single, double, or triple bond, and then add ain, in, or ein to your number, meth, eth, prop, etc. If there's a single bond, we use ain. If there's a double bond, we use ein. And if there's a triple bond, we use ein. An example would be something with two carbons, and a double bond would be eth, ein. We then move on to the third step in numbering your carbons. You need to number the longest chain starting at the end close to a functional group or closest to the side chain. The functional group takes preference. In other words, you need to find your longest carbon chain and number it, number each carbon. But deciding on which side to start your numbering, you must start closest to the functional group or closest to the side chain. If there's both a side chain and a functional group, then the functional group takes preference. We label the side chain as in one, so our steps in one with our meth, eth, depending on how many carbons are in the side chain, but you add al to the end and place it before the name of the main chain. So instead of adding ain, in, or ein, you use, you add al. An example that they've given here is if you have 2,3-dimethylbutane. This means we have on carbon 2 and carbon 3, there is a methyl side branch. We write di because there are two side chains and we have the meth because they, each side chain contains one carbon each. And then the butane is because there are four carbons in the main chain and it consists of only single bonds. It is important to note that between numbers we add commas and between numbers and letters there are dashes. If there's more than one functional group or side chain of the same kind, indicate the portions of each and add a preceding di, tri, etc. So once again, if there is more than one side chain, we say how many with using di or tri. So in this case, there were two side chains on carbon two and carbon three, Therefore, we had dimethyl. Dimethyl, two side chains made up of one carbon each. Different functional groups or side chains are done in alphabetical order. So if we have many functional groups or, and or, or side chains, we order them in the name in alphabetical order. Side note that side chains are referred to as alkyl substituents. Over here we can see that if we have a hello alkane, we add a prefix or suffix of fluoro, chloro, bromo and iodo. An example would be chloropropane. This is when we have a chlorine halogen connected to a carbon and the propane showing that we have three carbons of single bonds. Chloropropane, one chlor chlorine connected to a carbon with three carbon atoms in the main chain with single bonds. With an alcohol we add OL at the end and we remove the last letter. So we have one 
propanol. That means that we have the OL or the OH is connected on the first carbon and we have three carbons. A carboxylic acid, you write oic acid at the end and remove the last letter, propanoic acid. This means that we have three carbon atoms. With an ester, the, way, the word O8 at the end and we remove the last letter, okay, methyl propanoate. This means that there's a methyl which is consisting of one carbon. This, this methyl comes from the alcohol used to form the ester and the propanoate, the prop comes from the number of carbons in the carboxylic acid, which was three. So this methyl propanoate was formed by methanol and propanoic acid. So we know that the alcohol consisted of one carbon and the carboxylic acid consisted of three carbons and it would form methyl propanoate as an acid. This will be explained more in the types of reactions when we do esterification.